it was the story batsmen uh -huh. trying to do bang 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 they they've been inserted to uh -huh. bat first they played some innovative shots and then then picking up the momentum fan ghani continue to be his beautiful touch six over the square of the wicket hazratullah saz i joining the party as well this was a beautiful shot from the middle of the bat for maximum usman ghani adjusting his link to a slower ball from waqarullah and dispatching it hazratullah saz i continue to play his shots as well and so did usman ghani they were both on fours this was beautifully played towards the third man region it was looking a dangerous opening bat partnership <coughs> until Hamza Hotak, the pick of the baller, the economy of under six took the wicket and broke the partnership. Partnership, return chance, no chance because it was clipped down the ground. Then down the ground again. Six is hit effectively down the ground. He was trying to come to his murderous best. Launching one down the ground through the offside was held out on the boundary. Held out on the boundary. Then Asker came in. He decided to pick the slow delivery to good effect. He likes going deep in the crease and launching it downfield. Straight bat was used, and so was those outreach shots through the onside. The flicks, the innovative shots, and then down the ground length balls were punished. And look at these scoop shots, new innovations introduced. Cricket is a game where you keep learning every single day, and he keep he kept producing those shots. That partnership. Was Ibrahim, Ibrahim Zadran gave him an equal, equal share of. proper batsmanship as well this was a beautiful innovative shot for a maximum and then the new scoop that he has developed in his game for a maximum superb strike superb strike 6 and 4 to finish the first innings azgar afghan has been magnificent win in some fashion but they were challenged early on absolutely at the beginning this was half a chance maybe created from amit hasan ball Imran Jannat hitting it but then Kareem Jannat taking on all the ballers Farhad Mohammad being one hitting him all over the ground Kareem Jannat was in some form today nothing was happening for the DFI Bandi Ami Dragons until these two were there but then Farhad Mohammad chased his own ball they deciding to go for the second run throw a direct hit at the wicket and broke the partnership part is with key whether you playing test match format or one day format or t20 format they needed consistent striking and uh, somehow it was provided by some clean striking from from the right hand batsman but then the introduction of the this spinner brought Ibrahim, Ibrahim. all the changes they required the fortune the wickets everything was was changed in a nick of time taking four wickets and four wickets for mirwa just up for edited side today to strengthen their all round capabilities and in pressure situation they always go for the experienced players excellent deliveries trapping the batsman in front four wickets for wakas salam kill four wickets for mirwa mirwa just up absolutely talking about the wickets some catching done out in the middle by nasir jamal and ibrahim zadran were also super this was one of the good catches taken Gulbadin Naib was not able to convert into bigger innings today. Munir Kakar dragged the ball back into the stumps and inside edge and getting out. The batsmen not clicking and they lost their wickets in quick succession after the first partnership and some partnership with Ehsanullah Jannat between Kareem Jannat and Ehsanullah Jannat. Wala then some uh, some shots attempted down the ground. Catch is taken safely. the batting has been magnificent the bowlers responded in uh, in a situation where the, the game was dragged but uh, that's how he finished it farad was given the opportunity today with his extra pace was expensive in his first spell but redeeming himself with that uh, quick yorker to finish the things for